My name is Kyle McCall. I'm the coordinator of the NORCAT Innovation Mill. So uh, I'm, I'm working hands-on with startups and aspiring entrepreneurs daily. A um, couple really quick housekeeping notes before we get going here. Um, if you brought a snack, you brought a coffee, uh, I don't, I'm not going to say I blame you, I get hangry myself. Um, but if you could just make sure that the, the uh, garbage or whatever you yeah, have uh, ends up in the proper receptacles on the sides of the room, that would be fantastic. Um, if you need to use the washroom at any point during the presentation, because um, I know probably some of you have never been to NORCAT before, um, they're just down the hallway and then uh, around the corner. Alrighty. Um, and then lastly, because we are living in the 21st century, if you just put your phones to vibrate or silent, that would be very, very much appreciated. Okay. So, all right. So, Startup 101, uh, welcome to the very first lecture. Um, thank you for all coming out once again. We're really excited to have you here. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a fantastic group this year. Um, this might be one of the duller lectures that you participate in, just because it's the start of the one. It's the start of the the, the series. We're going to have to go over some logistics. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about entrepreneurship, but really, what we're here to do t today is talk about the who, what, where, and when, and why uh, we're participating in this program. Um, so, without further ado, we're going to get going here. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, I'm part of the NORCAD Innovation Mill. Um, we're actually Sudbury's Regional Innovation Center. All right, we're one of 17 centers across Ontario. We're part of the broader on, uh, Ontario network of entrepreneurs. Has anyone ever heard of the Ontario network of entrepreneurs before? Okay, a couple, a couple of heads nodding. That's good. Um, but really, actually, the vast majority you've never heard of it, and that's that's a little unfortunate because again, we're one of 17 centers across Ontario. Um, these centers, like uh, like the Innovation Mill, we're all here to support startups, uh, mostly tech ventures, um, kind of get their start, grow, and then scale up. Um, with the idea being uh, helping Ontario's economy, growing those jobs, creating that wealth. Uh, uh, here, uh, more, more specifically here in Sudbury, but then also, of course, Ontario more broadly. Um, obviously, we don't really do a great job marketing ourselves. We're, we're working on that. Um, but again, we're part of a, a much broader network that also includes the Ontario Centers of Excellence. Uh, they've got some really great funding programs uh, that we, we can get into uh, in the later lectures, as well as the small business enterprises uh, centers, of which uh, the Regional Business Center is also a part of. And they're going to be joining us a little later this evening to talk about their programming as well. Um, but essentially, NORCAD Innovation Mill, in a nutshell, we help tech startups. All right. There's a whole bunch of other organizations in town that can help you if you're looking to start a restaurant, hair salon, uh, some of those Main Street businesses. And that's not to say that this program won't apply to you. It's just to say that when it comes to when it, when you're kind of thinking of the bubble or the field that we play in, that's what we play in. But we're more than happy to direct you to the resources that you, uh, the other resources in the community that you can take advantage of. Um, so this, yeah, this evening, we're introducing the startup series, uh, starting with Startup 101, the program that you're all here to take part in. Um, so I, I, won't, I won't get into that too much because you got uh, the, the handout in front of you, you got the calendar, uh, you've registered, so I'm assuming you've, you've, you've been to the website and read a little bit. Um, the Startup Drinks, this is going to be our monthly networking uh, opportunity. So at the, end of, uh, at the end of the month, after the, the last lecture of the month, we're going to be going to a different venue outside of a, a, out, out in Sudbury where you can get together, you can network with uh, the individuals in this classroom. We're going to be inviting our broader mentorship group as well. So those are all been there, done that, entrepreneurs, uh, local business champions. We'll also be inviting some service providers so you can get some kind of off-the-cuff advice and then also make those connections that you need uh, as, a, as a, an aspiring uh, uh, business owner or entrepreneur. Um, we're going to do our, our best to kind of curate it so that we're making sure that those serendipitous collisions are happening and everyone gets an opportunity to meet everyone and you're making those, uh, you're, you're, you're growing your network. Startup labs. These would, would, would otherwise be our workshops or educational uh, opportunities throughout the year. We'll be advertising them through Twitter, on our Facebook page, on LinkedIn, uh, and also on our, on our um, uh, oh my goodness, on our website. So if you want to think of those, it's basically taking one of these one hour lectures, expanding it for a morning or an afternoon, and just basically taking a deeper dive uh, into that pr particular topic or, or challenge or, or whatever have you that uh, a startup might be, might be facing. So ones that we've had in the past, intellectual property, using social media to advance your, 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 uh, your marketing, uh, those kinds of things, all right? So the fun stuff, the course outline. So you've all registered, you've committed um, for the next 25 weeks right here at NORCAT from 6 to 7 p.m. 
Of course, it's the guy that comes in late. <laughs> Um, Wednesday, 6 to 7, from, uh, 6 to 7 p.m. at NORCAT. Uh, we're going to be here delivering the, the, the workshop, uh, sorry, the lectures. The nice thing about this is um, they're all going to be live in person. So if you participated in Entrepreneurship 101 uh, from the last three years, you may have come in and sat down through a web streamed, uh, a web stream lecture, which yeah, you know, admittedly isn't the most entertaining, isn't the best way to get people out is to come and say, come stare at a screen for an hour which you're kind of doing, but not really. Um, but at least now you've got someone to interact with up on stage. And for the 25, for the 25 of those lectures, you are going to have uh, someone who's been there, done that, uh, has some kind of wisdom to impart up in front of you, and that you're going to be able to interact with either during the presentation or after. And we're really excited about the slate of speakers that we have upcoming. Feel free to Google uh, whoever you, you see on the calendar and make sure you kind of put a star beside the ones that you really can't miss. Um, Along with the lectures, we are changed the format a little bit too so that after three or four lectures, we're going to do some hands-on workshops. Okay, So this gives you the opportunity as participants in the class to get your hands dirty and work with uh, myself and some of the other facilitators from the Regional Business Center and some of the other service providers in town to actually take some of those resources, take some of those tools that we're talking about and, get, and, and uh, helping you work through, uh, sit down and work through them as a group and get that kind of one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, support that you need during that, that time period on the Wednesday evening. Um, and we're really, we're really excited about that. We think that we're going to see some really great results come, come from that as well. Um, plus field trips. So I think we've got, we've got two. We might add a third uh, field trip as part of this. Um, so just, again, make a note of that in your calendar. They're really exciting. We're, 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 again, we're, we're happy to, to be able to get out into the community and shake it up a little bit, get out of this, this, kind of, this classroom. Um, so yeah, again, make sure those are in your calendar. And then finally, uh, we've got the startup competition. So at the end of it all, at the end of it all, we're going to be offering a competition to the participants um, to, to basically get up on stage, pitch your business idea uh, to your peers, to a group of judges for the opportunity to actually win some cash, uh, which is really exciting. Um, the only caveat being that you have to have participated or come and attended 20 of the 25 lectures. Okay. Um, same goes for the certificate that we give out at the end of the, the whole presentation. You have to participate or, or attended 20 of the 25 lectures. How we're going to keep track of attendance is next week you're going to get one of these handy cards. Um, they're going to have just the Startup 101 and your name on it. It's kind of like a library card. We use them here for uh, the NORCAT training. So if you're a contractor or you've, you've done any training with us before, you may have gotten your NORCAT card. Essentially what it allows you to do is scan in at the kiosk at the front and that's that. You've basically just said, I'm here, I'm attending, and uh, uh, go from there. Makes our lives easier, makes your lives easier, makes sure we can track everyone uh, effectively. So that's the course outline. What to expect. Okay, so these lectures, um, again, they're going to be get delivered by uh, people unlike myself uh, who have actually been there, done that. They've, they've gone through the startup process. All right, they may have started a company. It may have failed. They may have started another one, succeeded. Others may have started one, grown it, sold it, and are now active angel investors. There's a whole breadth of experience that you're going to be able to learn from. All right, and the advice that they're giving you um, is, is meant to be tactical in the sense that you can take it from them, that lecture, and bring it back to your, uh, your business or your venture or whatever you have going on and apply it right away. Okay? Uh, and again, that's, that's kind of the been there, done that bit. The hands-on workshops, again, being able to work directly on that, on that, that uh, business or our venture idea that, you're, uh, that you have planned um, with, again, the, the support of the the Regional Business Center's consultants and ourselves here at the, the NORCAT Innovation Mill. There might be some homework. I'm not sure what that homework is going to look like quite yet. Haley made me put this in the slide, so if you want to ask her what the homework's all about, by all means, do that. Um, I think it's probably going to take the form of some sharing opportunities where you've taken some of the business advice from one of the lectures, you want to let everyone else know how it's kind of worked or it hasn't worked for you, and maybe some learnings that you can take away from that. So really just, just something along those lines. And then what I think is the most important bit about this, about this group and about the, the whole Startup uh, 101 series is building this community of like-minded individuals. All right, so you're all in the same room here together. You all at least have this, this lecture in common, uh, sorry, this, this startup uh, series in common. You're all interested in entrepreneurship in one, way or, or, uh, in one way or another. So building this community, getting to know one another is really going to be important. 
Um, we can put all the resources you want up on stage, and they're going to be really valuable, don't get me wrong, but it's just going to be equally as valuable to get uh, to know one another and figure out what kind of connections, what kind of networks, who, what, what kind of resources are available just also in this room. Okay? And we've seen great success with that over the last few years, and we're really hoping to see it again this year. Entrepreneurship. So what we're all here kind of to talk about and discuss and, and learn about is a big scary word. I hate typing it because I always get it wrong, despite the, having done it for the last four years. Um, the definition also, yeah, you know, it's very businessy. It's all about starting a business, startups, uh, selling things and that kind of thing. But I really don't want to dwell too much on the starting a, starting a business aspect, okay? Are you interested in starting a business and you're, you're sitting in the seat? Uh, because of that, sure, absolutely. That's that's probably one of the main drivers. But the lessons that you're going to learn through this course can be applied in all sorts of other facets. Personally, I volunteer with a couple different uh, not-for-profit organizations. Are we are we selling a service? Yes. Are we trying to make an impact in our community? Yes. Should we think of ourselves as entrepreneurs? Probably, right. So the idea behind this course and, and participating in Startup One is to can you also get you thinking more like an entrepreneur to approach those, those challenges or those uh, opportunities in a different way and come up with solutions uh, when, uh, for, for those challenges when they present themselves. Okay, so there's gonna be lots of, great, uh, lots of great things that you can learn from this program that you can apply not just to starting a business, but to when you volunteer with a, a for a community event, when you're volunteering with a not-for-profit, if you're running your, your, your son or daughter's uh, uh, athletic club, anything. Okay, there's gonna be lots of great lessons that you can take away and apply right away to your, to your uh, everyday life. Um, so sometimes, you know, when we talk about startups, this is what people think of. All right, and that, don't get me wrong, you know, this is, this is a big first step for a lot of people, um, but it's not the only step. You know, getting that URL is really just the, the first little step into, uh, into entrepreneurship. And whether or not it's, um, uh, you know, and whether or not you, you kind of can tap into those resources and figure out what other little gaps do I need to fill in around that, that, that resource. And you know what, startups, it's not all going to look like this. When we think startups, this is often what we think about. We think about websites, we think about digital, digital things, but that's not the only case, all right? And now for the dad joke. So I say this, be alert, the world needs more alerts, because again, getting into um, entrepreneurship uh, doesn't just always mean starting a business. <laughs> It means making an impact in your community. And what we really need here in Sudbury and in Ontario and Canada more broadly uh, are more alerts, for, for lack of a better word. We need more people who are interested in being entrepreneurial and having an impact in their community. Because not only do they create wealth and jobs, and that's what I put up there, because that's kind of the lens we look through it, uh, here at the Innovation Mill, but what kind of impact can you have as an entrepreneur in the community as a volunteer with a not-for-profit organization or your, your son or daughter's uh, athletic club? You know, because it's, it's great to create all the jobs, it's great to have all that wealth, but unless you also have entrepreneurs thinking differently and making an impact uh, towards, you know, towards creating a healthier or safer or more fun community, like you see with a number of organizations here in town, um, then, then really what's the point of creating that, that job and wealth if we can't have some fun and a healthy, uh, lovely community to live in as well? So I guess what I'm trying to say is be alert, <laughs> uh, try your best, Think about uh, how you can be more of an entrepreneur just outside of business as well. Uh, finally, uh, the last thing I want to leave you with is there's a very large support network here in Sudbury. Um, again, we don't always do the best job marketing ourselves, but there is a lot of organizations available. And this is, on, this is probably half the list. And this is just what my personal support network looks like. These are, the, these are kind of the people that I lean on daily. Um, but your support network, and again, the reason why this building that, that community is so important is because your support network is going to look a lot different than my support network. It's going to look a lot different than your support network. And combining them, you never know what kind of uh, interesting uh, things might come out of it or what kind of support or resources you might be able to glean from, from, from making that connection. All right. Um, the best or most, most successful entrepreneurs, they know how to take advantage of their support networks. They don't do it on their own. All right, no one does anything in a vacuum. Making a, uh, taking advantage of the support networks, taking advantage of those organizations that are here to help you in town, like the Innovation Mill, like the Regional Business Center, will only further your cause and help you uh, basically accelerate the, the growth of your venture and get, get you off the ground. All right, 
So that's it for me. I probably spoke too fast. I went, I went way too quick. I'm sorry, Stacy. Uh, but there will be lots of times for questions and answers afterwards too, because being the first lecture, I'm sure uh, everyone might have a few burning questions and, or might want to mingle afterwards and get to know one another. Um, but with that, with the support network in mind, I'm going to bring it over to the Regional Business Center here. Thank you. All right, can everyone hear me? I'm all good. So I'm Stacey Kerr, I'm the Small Business Consultant at the Regional Business Centre. Um, I had the opportunity to attend Entrepreneurship 101 the first year that they had it here. And it was fantastic, you guys are in for a real treat. Because like he mentioned, there was a lot of webinars which did get a little boring at times. So now that it's all live, it's, I'm really excited about what you guys are up for this year. I deal with entrepreneurs on a daily basis and every single week I took something away from each of the, the sessions or seminars or presentations. Um, it's really exciting to be partnering with NORCAT for Startup 101 this year um, just because we get to watch you guys grow and learn throughout the year. Both of us are here to help you and guide you through that process and especially take advantage of the network that he was talking about. I should put up my own slot too. Um, so a little bit about me. I'm originally from Elliott Lake. Once the mines closed, I did move to Sudbury. I have a diploma in business administration. Um, I've been a small business consultant at the Regional Business Centre for about four years now. Um, and I love what I do. I really, really enjoy it. Um, although I'm not an entrepreneur myself, we help people start their own businesses. So I get really a lot of satisfaction watching somebody accomplish something from inception to um, pursuing it. And I do see a couple of familiar faces in the crowd, so it's great to see you guys here. Um, the best thing about being a small business consultant is every day is different. And I learn just as much from my clients as they do from me. Um, it's, it's a continuous process dealing with entrepreneurs such as yourself. And it is a lot of fun and uh, makes me happy to get up every morning. Um, the one thing that I do tell a lot of my clients is do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. It is hard work being an entrepreneur, but finding that passion, that something you, like me, get up in the morning and makes you happy, it won't feel like work, you know? So find that passion, that hobby, and, and do that, and you'll never work a day in your life. So our mandate at the center essentially is to be that one-stop shop. Um, we provide entrepreneurs with services and resources, accurate information, and coaching throughout the city and the surrounding areas. So our catchment area goes all the way from Manitoulin Island to French River, essentially. Um, we don't do it for you. We give you the services and the resources available for you guys to do it yourself. So that's the best way to learn, and that's the best way to make you guys succeed with what you want to do. I am not going to read that whole thing to you, <laughs> but these are some of the services that we do offer at the center. Um, business con consultations is the largest part of what I do myself as the small business consultant, but we do a multitude of different things. We have a research officer that can help you with market research, um, help you with that business plan development, which is very important. if point you in the right direction for funding opportunities, help you with those applications. Um, we have youth funding programs, which I'll get into um, at least one of them in a little bit. Um, we have a directory of different funding programs, and it's all broken down by industry. So a lot of the funding programs in Sudbury are very industry specific. So we can help you kind of you know, figure those roads out and show you that process and guide you through the whole way. Um, we can do a master business license right in the office um, and we do have a, quite an extensive resource library and we have quite a few guides ourselves that we provide to our clients. Starter company. So this is the big youth program that I want to talk to you guys about. So this is a training and mentoring program with the opportunity of a $5,000 grant for anyone between the ages of 18 and 29. Um, what I think is great is we are now including Startup 101 training in the training requirements for the program. So if you are interested in participating in the Starter Company program, give me a call. We can go through it. 
regist the registration that will be taken here will be taken into account for your training requirement for the program. Um, it is a great program. We've had some fantastic entrepreneurs come through the program, um, and they've been really successful with it. So don't hesitate to give me a call, and we can talk about that some more. As Kyle mentioned, there is an extensive entrepreneur network in, in the city. These are our funding partners and part of our network. So a lot of them are very similar to what Kyle's already showed you. So the one network, um, we have all three levels of government, but we also have a lot of service base. So lawyers, accountants, uh, bankers, insurance, that sort of thing. Um, so again, if we can't help you directly, we have somebody we know can help you and they're specialists in their field. So don't hesitate if you have any questions, Kyle and I will be able to help you with that. And again, enjoy the ride guys. This is a really great program. It's a really great step for you guys.